Get all the latest news and coronavirus and more delivered daily to your inbox. Sign up here. Michigan Gov. Gretchen Whitmer is facing backlash following an expansion to her state's stay-at-home order that prohibits not just public gatherings, but private ones as well, regardless of size or family ties, in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Whitmer's order says residents are now prohibited from visiting family or friends, with exceptions for providing care, as the state currently has the third highest number of COVID-19 cases with upwards of 21,000. Michigan stay-at-home order now bans visits to friends, relatives, governor says. A LL, public and private gatherings of any number of people occurring among persons not part of a single household are prohibited, the order says. It also places restrictions on what types of businesses may operate and in what capacity, leading to criticism of the Democratic governor from state lawmakers. Our governor is destroying our health by killing our livelihoods. Republican State Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky posted on Facebook, repeating the statement two more times in the same post, because I am obsessed with making sure everyone understands what's happening. State House Speaker Lee Chatfield criticized the decision-making on which businesses were considered essential and which were not. Chatfield noted that liquor, marijuana, and lottery sales were still permitted, while lawn care, construction, and realtor services were restricted. Let's be safe and reasonable. Right now, we're not. Chatfield tweeted. The order's restrictions on stores led Whitmer to issue a clarification document that explains, among other things, that residents can still purchase car seats for their children. GOP State Representative Michelle Hoytenga posted on Facebook that Whitmer was going to radical extremes with her order, adding in a comment that she is highly concerned about the mental health toll this is taking on everyone. Most extreme measures during coronavirus lockdown, state by state. State officials are not the only ones calling out Whitmer for supposedly going too far. Michigan Congressman Justin Amash tweeted that the governor should immediately reassess the order, claiming it goes too far and will erode confidence in her leadership. On top of the criticism from political figures, an online petition for Whitmer to be recalled has garnered more than 150,000 signatures. Earlier this month, a local newspaper slammed Whitmer for engaging in a political feud with President Trump instead of focusing solely on the crisis. Trump has also faced criticism for tensions with the governor. Gov. Gretchen Whitmer must send an unequivocal message to her constituents that Michigan is her priority in this hour of crisis, a Detroit News editorial said. Her running feud with President Donald Trump calls into question whether she's acting in the best interests of this state, or on behalf of the Democratic Party. Click here for the Fox News app. Whitmer stood behind the order while offering words of encouragement. We are living in a difficult time, and the unknown is scary. But I do know that we must remain steady, she tweeted over the weekend. We can't allow fear or panic to guide us. The lives of Michiganders are at stake. We must stay the course to save lives. Stay steady. We're going to get through this together. On Monday afternoon, however, the governor and other state officials are expected to provide an update to her administration's response to the pandemic at a press conference. This comes a day after the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services reported a reduced number of new cases Sunday. The department noted, however, that this may not necessarily be indicative of a true decline in COVID-19 cases and deaths in our state.